To start off, I wanted to uh, look at a couple of pictures, and we're going to be hunting for polygons. Can somebody remind me what a polygon is? Jeffrey. Uh, closed figure with straight lines. It's a what? Closed figure with straight lines. Closed figure with straight lines. Good. So we're going to be looking for those. Ready? So here's the first picture. I want you to talk to the person next to you and see how many polygons you can find in this picture. All right, somebody want to tell me a polygon you found, Luis? Um, where's the penalty shoot? The penalty yeah. shot. Here's the penalty shot right here. Yeah. And, uh, what do you see? And, uh, the, 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 the what polygon do you see? The, it's a rectangle. You see a rectangle. Yeah. This one right here or yeah. this one right here? The outer one. This is a rectangle. And what are the, some of the properties of a rectangle? Can somebody tell me some of the properties? Atiana? Opposite sides are parallel. And if I see opposite sides are parallel, what else? Somebody else tell me another one? Oscar? It has four right angles. Four right angles. They're right here. And one more. J the opposite Jason. Sides are equal. Opposite sides are equal. Do you guys know what that means? Opposite sides are equal? Can somebody explain that to me? What is opposite sides are equal? Yes, Kennedy. The opposite sides are the same. Same length? So, for example, what's the opposite of this side? Um, <coughs> it's the one on the bottom, and they're the same length. The opposite of this one would be this one, and the same length. Does anybody else see another polygon? Yes. Uh, from the beginning of the court to half four points. So from here to half, what do you see there? Rectangle. Is it a rectangle? It's also a rectangle. A lot of rectangles, huh? Mm -hmm. Basically, they're all pretty much rectangles. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next next picture. Talk to your partner, please. All right, so I see a couple of polygons here. Can somebody tell me a polygon you talked about with your partner, Miguel? Um, I saw two, like, three squares. You see three squares. Can you show them to me? Right here. Okay, good. You see three squares. What else can that be? Actually, this is an interesting one. Janice, what else can it be? It, be a rhombus? it can be a rhombus, right? Because remember we said a square can be a rhombus? But a rhombus can be a square. But a rhombus cannot be a square. Why? Because they have different sides. All of the rhombus um, could be... Um, Anybody help, Luis? Jeffrey? They don't all have right angles. They don't all have right angles. They all have the same... Part of the properties of a rhombus are they all have the same length, right? All the sides are equal, okay? But not all the time are they going to have 90, 90 degree angles or right angles, okay? Now, it can also be a square, right, Miguel? Yeah. So what is the properties of a square? They have four equal sides. Four equal sides. And two equal sides. No, it has four equal sides. And what else? Four right angles, good, and four right angles. What are the properties of a rhombus? 
What are the properties of a rhombus, Erica? Okay. <coughs> All the sides are equal. Four equal sides. Mm. Anything else? Somebody else help Erica here? You got it, Erica? Okay. There's parallel lines. How many? Or tell me about the parallel lines here. There's two pairs of parallel Two pairs of parallel lines. So what's another way of saying that? Marissa? Opposite sides are parallel. Sides are parallel right? And what does parallel mean again? Saul? Saul? The lines that never intersect. Good job. All right. Any other polygons? Actually, I forgot there's another one here. Kennedy? There is a pentagon. There's a pentagon. Where's the pentagon on this baseball shape? The home plate. Home plate, right? And what's a pentagon? A shape with five sides. A shape with five sides. Good job. Any other ones you see? JP? The, the dirt. The dirt. What do you see? It's a, a square. It's a big square, right? Or a big uh, rhombus. rhombus, yeah. All right, good job. What do you see here? Go ahead and talk really quick. <laughs> All right, what do we see here? Eric, what do we see here? Um, I see a, a triangle. You see a triangle. Is this a triangle you see? Mm-hmm. All right. What are the properties of a triangle? It's three angles. Three angles. Good. What else can you tell me about that? They all acute angles. Oh, these are all acute angles? What is an acute angle, Eric? It's less than 90 degrees. Less than 90 degrees. Good job. What else can you tell me about this triangle here? Yes, Emily. The sum of all the angles is equal to 180 degrees. Is that just for this triangle? No, no. For all triangles, right? Good. What other type of triangle is it? Jelena? An acute triangle. Why is it an acute triangle? So they're all acute, right? They're all less than 90 degrees. Good job. Let's see what you see here. This is a design. Go ahead and talk. See how many triangles or how many what you see. Smaller squares, the giant squares. All right, what do we see, Janice? Uh, a few squares. You see a square? Okay. Uh, what are the properties of a square? It has <coughs> four right angles. Four right angles. And <coughs> it has parallel lines. Parallel lines, and there's one more. And they're all equal sides. All equal sides. Good job. Uh, Angelica, what do you see? Um, a triangle. You see, I see a lot of triangles. What kind of triangles do you see? Right. You see a right triangle? Yeah? Can you come show it to me? And while Angelica is showing it to us, think of the properties of a right angle. Okay, so she sees a right angle right here. Is that a right angle? A right triangle? Yes, okay, thank you, Angelica. Okay, what are the properties of a right triangle? Somebody tell me the properties of a right triangle. Yes, Jason. A right triangle has one right angle. Good, good. What other type of triangle is this? Can somebody tell me? Uh, Carlos, can you tell me what other type of triangle it is? It's a right triangle, because it has a right angle, but what other type of triangle is it? It's also a, a, 
isosceles? Isosceles. Why is it an isosceles triangle? Because there's only two sides that are equal. There's two equal sides, so you, these two are the same size, right? Good job. Does anybody see something different, something else? Or are they all right triangles? Are they all right triangles? Yeah. yeah. And then we see, what is this? It's a big square, right? Good. Okay, go ahead and talk to your partner about this one. <laughs> what do you call the red part? Huh? With the red part. That's five sides? Huh? Yes. What is that? All right. This one, I see at least three different polygons here. Let's see who can help me find them. Uh, Nadia. Um, there's an equilateral triangle and two. Hold on. There's an equilateral triangle. Is it this one? Okay. What is an equilateral triangle? A square? A triangle that a has three. Triangle that has three equal sides. Is that an equilateral triangle? Yes. What uh, what other type of triangle is it? Because remember we know we can classify triangles two ways, right? So it's an equilateral triangle and what else is it? Tatiana? An acute triangle. Why is it an acute triangle? Because all angles are acute. Because all the angles are acute. And what does acute mean again, Tatiana? They are less than 90 degrees. Okay, good. What other polygon do you see, JP? You see a trapezoid. Can you tell me what color the trapezoid is? There, I see two, yeah? These are two trapezoids. Why is it a trapezoid? What is it? Uh, it's a um, figure that has um, uh, so it's a quadrilateral. Yes, what does quadrilateral mean? Uh, shapes that have or, or four sides. Four sides, because quad means four, right? Yeah. Quadrilateral. So it's four sides, so yes, it's a quadrilateral. What else are the properties of a trapezoid? JP? It has two right angles. Do all trapezoids have two right angles? So we can't, if, if it doesn't apply to all of them, we can't call it a property. It has to apply to all trapezoids. Yes, Giovanni, help him out. It has one pair of parallel lines. It has one pair of parallel lines. That is, is that true for all trapezoids? Mm -hmm. One pair of parallel lines. So these two right here are parallel. Okay, that makes it a trapezoid. Okay? Good job. Oh, there's one more polygon. Uh, Marissa. I see a square. You see a square? A rectangle. A rectangle. Okay. Where, where, where is the rectangle? Um, it's the... It goes like... It's the whole thing, right? Okay. And a rectangle, what kind of polygon is it? Quadrilateral. Good job. All right, a couple more. Okay. What? I see a lot of polygons here, so. You guys should be very familiar with this, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go ahead and talk. We're going to do one more. There we go. Go ahead and do that one. All right, this one's a quick one. What do we see? Luis, I know you really like soccer. Tell me what you, what you see here. I see three pentagons. You see, well, we see a lot of pentagons because these are pentagons too once we see the other side of the ball, right? So they're pentagons. And what's a pentagon again? Oh. A shape that has five sides. shape that has five sides. Okay, I think you guys did a really good job.